G'day guys, welcome to episode 75 of Ask Jack D. Today I'm asked what are my top three books I would recommend for any entrepreneur. And I go through my top three recommendations and outline that books are not about reading words and chapters and you know an entire book that we completely agree with, but more about reading things that make us challenge and rethink who we are and challenge and rethink how we see the world and reimagine what the future might look like. So I give you three books that will uh, completely help you challenge your perception of yourself and hopefully reimagine your future. G'day guys, welcome to episode 75 of Ask Jack D. Today we are taking a question from Instagram from uh, Yolan Holton who says, Jack, you read a lot. Yes, I do. What are your top three book recommendations for brand new entrepreneurs? Really, really good question. Three book recommendations for brand new entrepreneurs. Okay, uh, let me just give my three book recommendations for human beings in general, right? Um, number one would be a book called Conversations with God. Now, it's not a religious book. I'm not a religious person. I'm a highly spiritual person. Conversations with God asks all of the really big questions that you can go through your whole life never really developing any sort of an answer to, right? And you'll find most of it is true or most of it isn't or whatever, but it's an exploration of self and it's an exploration of spiritual beliefs and it's an exploration of who are we, why are we here, how do we find purpose and how do we grow into the best version of ourselves, right? So for really any person, uh, I think, a lot of people can get a lot out of reading Conversations with God because of the elevation in thinking it gives you. Whether you agree with every word or not is irrelevant. It will get you thinking about really large macro concepts which will expand who you are, right? And to me, that's kind of why we're here. Number two. Number two, I'm going to go with David and Goliath, right, from Malcolm Gladwell. And the reason this is important for any human beings, but particularly entrepreneurs, is David and Goliath is really a collection of stories from Gladwell, and it's about the advantage of disadvantage. A lot of the times, culturally and in our society, we're quick to label something a disadvantage. And um, Gladwell looks at all of these different people that have become hugely successful, whether it be the president of Goldman Sachs, whether it be the story of David and Goliath, you know, we all know the story, Goliath the giant and David isn't and David gets in with a sling. And it looks at all of these different stories and it asks, um, it's the study of improbable victory. It's the study of people that uh, probably shouldn't have won but did. It asks the question, how and can that be bottled and can that be uh, you know systemized for lack of a better word and learned and taught and all that sort of stuff and I, re I reckon it can right I think it I think a huge part of entrepreneurship is alchemy creating something out of nothing and we often start with nothing particularly if it's our first business we're starting with nothing so the field is uneven the f it's not unfair it's just uneven right we're surrounded by people and businesses that have a lot more than us more money more people more track record more credibility more market understanding more consumer insight people and companies have more than us the, often the people in the companies that we're going after to disrupt right so turning disadvantage into advantage is a crucial skill for any entrepreneur to master. Master David and Goliath is a really good example of that. And number three, I'm going to go with a book called Zero to One by Peter Thiel. This book is really good uh, because it is genuinely counterintuitive thinking. You know, counterintuitive things and things that are different has almost become cliche in the world of entrepreneurship, right? Everyone's trying to be different and say something different. And, and sometimes people can fall into the trap of being different for different sake. Peter Thiel, you know, uh, co-founder of PayPal, uh, first external investor into Facebook, uh, since has founded a business called uh, Palantir or something around uh, like working in conjunction with the CIA around data security. Uh, hugely successful entrepreneur, best mates with Elon Musk. And he is a genuinely counterintuitive thinker. Like, you know, he sort of disagrees with a lot of lean startup methodologies. Uh, he, he disagrees with a lot of uh, cult culturally, you know, the popular views we hold around energy and energy creation and energy consumption. And a lot of his views aren't popular, but he puts them forward anyway and quite convincingly. 
So if you're looking for an independent thinker, counterintuitive strategies, and just looking, you know, Peter studied philosophy at university, so he's a highly philosophical, uh, intellectually and from a wisdom perspective evolved human being, uh, and has some really interesting things to say. Again, none of this is about reading a book we're going to agree with every single word. Sometimes the best books are the ones we read and we agree with 40% and we disagree with 60% of it, right? So it's not about getting facts so that we can retain them and regurgitate them. It's not school. It's life. We want to read books that stimulate thought. We want to read books that challenge our perception of the world. We want to read books that make us rethink who we are and where we're going, right? So Conversations with God, David and Goliath, and Zero to One by Peter Thiel are three books that will do that. Now, I am genuinely very interested in this question. P.S. The other book that I would read if you're like on a holiday or whatever is Oprah, What I Know For Sure. It's, it's, it's all personal and spiritual stuff. It's an incredibly easy read. The writing is beautiful, like poetic. I love Oprah's writing. Um, and it's just a really easy read, right? So if you're on a holiday and you're looking to chill out, but you're still looking to grow and you know while relaxing, Oprah, what I know for sure, would be uh, definitely in my top four. Um, really interested. What is your number one book, either for human beings or entrepreneurs? What's the book that has moved you the most and been the most thought-provoking or spirit-provoking uh, thing that you have ever read? In the comments below, I'm genuinely interested. If, they, if there's any listed that I haven't read, then I will probably get onto them and read them. Guys, thank you for watching. That was episode 75. Keep asking questions using the hashtag AskJackD. I'll see you in the comments below and look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Because I'm